Hello everyone, I am Harshita and today's topic is performance obligation identification rules in revenue management. Now, first of all, what is performance obligation? A performance obligation is a distinct promise in the contract to transfer goods or services to the customer. Here in revenue management, revenue recognition is based on the satisfaction of a customer performance obligation rather than billing. Now, here is a small example to describe how, what is performance obligation. Like here is a contract of telecommunication device plus subscription. In this contract, there are two performance obligations which we need to satisfy here is first telecommunication device, second telecommunication subscription. So this is performance obligation in it. Now, the next is performance obligation identification rule. These rules are used to indicate how to group order lines into distinct performance obligation within a revenue contract. There are three predefined performance obligation identification rules in the instance. First, identify performance obligation based item. Second, identify performance obligation based on item classification. And the last is identify performance obligation based on source document line. You can use just three predefined performance obligation or else you can create your own rule in it. So for the better understanding of the concept, let, let's move to the instance and see how we can create a performance obligation identification rule there. So moving to the instance now. Now go to setup and maintenance here. Giving offering as financials. Go to revenue management. Now we are search for the task performance obligation identification rules. Here is the task manage performance obligation identification rules. Click on it. Now there are already created performance obligation identification rules, which you can see here. For creating a new rule, just click on this add icon. Give name to your rule. I am giving telecom rule one. Give your priority. Enable yes. Exempt from allocation no. Give default classification as device. As we have already discussed in our example in PPT, like there are two performance obligation in one contract. We have seen like telecommunication device and telecommunication subscription. We are using that example only to create a performance obligation identification rule in the instance as well. So first of all, we are creating device then we will create subscription. Now for satisfaction method for device, it will be required complete obviously. Now to add source document type click on this add icon give your source document type like i'm giving telecommunication device here and give your source document attribute name so search for it there are two type of extendable header character i i mean there are two types of extendable source document attribute name first extendable header character and second one is the extendable line character generally extendable header characters Source document attribute name are used for customer uh, contract identification rule and for performance obligation identification rule we use extendable line character source document attribute name so we are going to use extendable line character attribute here as a source document attribute name these are headers we are going to select the lines like i am giving extendable line character attribute 10, 10 here Say OK, matching group will be one. Just save and close. Okay. Now we will create one more rule, performance obligation rule here for subscription, giving the name as telecom. Rule two. 
giving priority here enabling yes giving default classification as descriptions and satisfaction method will be now allow partial only now we will add source document type here i'm adding here telecommunications descriptions giving source document attribute name as customer order purchase order and matching group will be one now save and close it so this is how you can create a performance obligation identification rule in the instance so this is for this is all for today thank you